Comparing data across two lists or tables is a frequent task in Excel, often for identifying duplicates or unique entries. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I demonstrate how to extract unique records using Excel functions. I will also explore how Copilot can accomplish the same task. And finally, switch to ChatGPT asking for the same exact thing. I will then compare the three approaches. Let's dive into it. In this worksheet, I have two tables. The one to the left is named the sales table and is coming from the sales department showing different sales transactions. The second one to the right is named the accounting table and it's coming from the accounting department showing those invoice numbers that have been paid. I'm interested in finding out those invoices that were not paid. I can do that by using functions, so I start by comparing the two lists. I'm interested in extracting the records corresponding to the invoices that have not been paid. So in cell J2, I start by creating a count if function, equal count if, I open bracket, I select the invoice number from the account table, and then comma, I'm comparing it to the invoice number column from the sales table. When I close the bracket, I hit enter, I get one for the invoices that have been paid. For those invoices that were not paid, I get a zero. So I'm going to modify the function and type, is it equal to zero? That will convert the ones and zero into trues and false. I hit enter and I get a bunch of false and trues. I'm only interested in the true because these correspond to the invoices that have not been paid and I want to extract them. So I wrap my countif function in a filter function. I put my function in the edit mode by hitting F2 and I wrap it in a filter dynamic array function. So I type filter. I want to filter the entire sales table. I select it. I type a comma and to the far right, I close the bracket and I hit enter and these are the records that are not paid. I can do the same exact thing by using a different function. What if I use an X match function? So I type equal X match and then I hit tab. I want to match the invoice number in the sales table. So I click on the column and now I'm selecting the invoice number. I type a comma and I'm comparing it to the invoice number in the accounting table. So I select it. I close the bracket and then I hit enter and I get a number for the invoices that have been paid and NA, a not available error for the invoices that have not been paid. To convert it into trues and false, I hit F2 and I wrap it in an is an a function. I open bracket, I close bracket at the end, and when I hit enter, I get a bunch of trues and false. We are only interested in extracting the trues. Then I put my function one more time in the edit mode F2, and I wrap it in a filter function as I did with the countif function. So I type filter, I open bracket, I select the sales table, and then I type a comma, and at the very end, I close the bracket for the filter function. And here are the records extracted with a different function. If you are not an advanced Excel user, then you can seek the help of Copilot for doing that. So I go to the next worksheet, Copilot, where I have the same exact setup and I have the same two tables. And I want to ask Copilot to generate the function for me. So I'm going to open Copilot Assuming that your file is saved to the clouds and autosave is turned on, I click on Copilot on the Home tab to open the Copilot pane. I'll be writing a prompt that explains the work situation. So in the lower box in Copilot, I'll be writing Compare Records in the Sales 2 table and Accounting 2 table. In cell J2, extract records from Sales table that are not in the accounting table. So here is my prompt. Now I want to send it. Then I click on the send button and Copilot is working on it. 
understanding my data and I'm waiting for generating a function for me. And here you go, Copilot is using a filter function and then it's using the match function. I have a preference to using the X match because it has less arguments and it traps it in an is and a, that's not bad. I'm going to copy this function by clicking on this copy command. It copies to the clipboard. And then in cell J2, I'm going to paste my function and look at that, there is a problem. It's extracting only the numbers. So I need to modify the result by adding another prompt. I need to extract the entire record, not simply the invoice number. I send my prompt and now Copilot says it can't help me with that. So I'm going to rewrite the prompt one more time. I tried to clarify the prompt a little bit for Copilot and I'm resending it. Now I'm getting a better function. I'm going to copy it and then I go to cell J2. I delete the previous one and I paste the new one and now it works properly. That's pretty close to what I did manually, but instead of using an X match, it's using a match function. Now I close Copilot and I switch to the next worksheet where I have the same exact data in a list and I'll be asking ChatGPT to help me with this work situation, extracting the unique records from the list to the left coming from the sales department that are not available in the list coming from the accounting department to the right side. And I want a formula to help me do that. And here is ChatGPT. I'll be writing a prompt Compare records from the two lists, A2C29 and F2H26. In cell J2, extract entire records from list A2C29 that are not in list F2H26. And to help ChatGPT, I need to provide the screenshot. So I click on the plus sign and I click on upload from my computer. And here I have a screenshot. I hit open. And now I send the prompt by clicking on this button. Here it says use the filter function with the count ifs. And I'm going to copy this one and compare it to the one I created myself. I go back to Excel. And in cell J2, I paste the function and I'm getting the list of the three records that are unique records in the sales list. The difference between this formula and the one I created, I was just comparing the invoice number, but here it's comparing the invoice number, the date and the amount. So for experienced Excel users, building a custom function is often the quickest and most precise approach. However, those new to Excel can leverage tools like Copilot or ChatGPT by providing clear and detailed prompts. When using ChatGPT, including a screenshot of your spreadsheet can be especially helpful in getting the desired result. Tell me in a comment, which one is your preferred approach? And if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.